Here's something God cares a lot about and really wants you to be, quote, eager to maintain. Are you ready for some good news? You're one with Christ and with every believer. One with Christ and with one another. We're in chapter 4 of Ephesians this week where Paul speaks sublimely of the unity and diversity of the body of Christ. And when he describes the unity of the church, Paul urges us to be eager to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. When you discover the sweetness of unity, your soul becomes zealous to maintain that unity. When I was a senior in high school, maybe you've heard me tell this before, but our tennis coach was also the assistant basketball coach. As the Page High School Pirates advanced in the basketball playoffs, tennis season began, but Coach Brown couldn't be there, so he asked me to coordinate the practices. Uh, no one was being cut from the team yet. It was just the beginning of the season. He just wanted me to make sure everyone warmed up and then was assigned their place on one of the six courts for their practice. Well, about a week into my substitute coaching duties, I had developed a distaste for a sophomore who, although an excellent tennis player, was rude and boastful. And one afternoon, I looked down the courts and I saw this sophomore bully swat a ball after a point was over at a little freshman, just swatted it right at him. I forgot who I was and what I was supposed to be doing. I dashed across several courts, got into that bully's face, and I said, that's it. I've had it with you. You're off the team. <laughs> that night, the phone rang at my house. Uh, Coach Wright? I said, yes. <laughs> he said, this is Coach Brown. How did practice go today? He was nice enough, but he said, Alan, when I told you to organize the practices, I didn't give you the authority to kick off the players. Well, his point was clear enough. I was zealous to protect the unity of a tennis team. And if that's something that could cause me some zeal as a high schooler, how much more so should there be a zeal to protect the unity of the body of Christ? There's a war for our unity. We're the body. And it's a unity that ultimately will not be denied. We're the body of Christ and we're connected. Let's protect it. And that's the gospel. That's today's daily devotion. And you can get more like it by clicking right here. Better yet, subscribe and start out every day with great news.